know, this is part of uh, off-roading. And with the rope, they pull the car out. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you never dream of putting it there. Even you could. Not too much soon. Let's go. Okay. That's that's quite a ditch there. <laughs> and we're lucky to be out from there. <laughs> but it's a part of every day. This is what all the time. This is what off-roading is all about. Yeah. So now with the hunt for the second spot. So they designed one. So this guy Sumer gave me some gun and how he ripped apart a gypsy and made a monster out of it. To start off with, I put 33 inches mud tires for bigger traction. They are 12.5 inches wide. Then I have put the front leaves, the front suspension. I have put leaf fins of a thar, rear thar. And this, so the thar is 46 inches long, 48 inches long. While the gypsy is 37, so it gives more articulation to it. Then I've reduced the leaf springs to two or three pack, that's it. So that I can get a good articulation into it. It has a 14 inch travel shocks, again to help with articulation. Then I have got diff locks in both the axles, front and rear, air locks, those are air wheel locks. So I can switch over between a closed differential as well as an open differential. This car has a capabilities and it seems he added a whole new level of gadgets and gizmos to make it behave like a mountain goat while it sounded like an angry bear. Exactly. Just, it's not just the machine that's doing the hard work. It's the mayor as well. <laughs> In all my earnestness, I asked Hari a few questions. Thought I should act all cool. Pick up some knowledge. Articulation was it. Whatever that meant. But Hari was amazing experience with the train tigers. How do you feel about the experience also? Well, I'm totally at home with this uh, ship. This is what I enjoy doing and it's fantastic to have such gizmos, such gadgets in your uh, cars that can actually handle all this kind of terrain. I was, I was sitting with Sanjeev Singh, one of the members of train tigers. He was phenomenal the way he went up the slopes. I thought I was going to flip back, <laughs> but he pulled it off amazingly. It's a lot better when you're driving. Yeah, I, I, I think so, but it was an amazing experience. Yep. Definitely, some some inclines, some uh, those, what we've just gone through, it's incredible. These guys, are they know their job, they know what they're doing, and uh, the good thing about it is they're doing it very safely, you know. They know what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. Look at this truck, it's, 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 it's a gypsy, I can go in the truck actually, if the tire is okay. Yeah, I mean, these, see, the, the equipment has to be right if you go off-roading. You've got to have the right equipment, and this is exactly what it is. Uh, you've got good tires, you've got good suspension, you've got tremendous articulation there. That, that's the kind of travel you need for off-roading, you know. You don't want any wheel to actually go up in the air if you can help it. So if you, if all your wheels, if, they tra if the travel is enough and they touch the ground, you'll have grip. And uh, that's exactly what is happening here. In fact, they've even got a double action sh uh, shackle here. So after the first bit pulls out, then the second Part of it, you know, pulls out. So you 14 inches of travel there, that's incredible. But well, let me explain. Have you ever seen inches of a Jeep with one wheel extended from the car and the body still pretty much straight? That is articulation. It is basically the range of the wheels that travel and keeping the body of the car in control. So since I had taken the last spot, Harry decided that he and Eloy would go down and chat a bit. Well, it's been a fantastic morning here with the Terrain Tigers. The terrain is beautiful, the vehicles are great, people are great. Niloy, what makes you do this and how often do you do this? Well, we do it every weekend, religiously. We haven't missed a single weekend so far since we started the club. Uh, what makes us do this? It's very interesting because uh, in Gurgaon, most people hit the pubs after a day's, uh, hard day's work. We decided let's do something different. You know, the passion also drives us out here. So it's a mix of both that comes in. And plus the fact that we meet lots of interesting people every time. There are lots and lots more people joining in every day. So it's kind of great fun. So apart from off-roading, do you plan some other activities along with this? Or is it just hardcore off-roading and then go back? We have multiple formats. So one is the hardcore off-roading, one is the family off-roads that we do. One is the family long-distance off-roads that we do. Where we take a weekend out, where we take people out of town. We take them, say for instance, by one kilometer distance, where we find newer tracks. So the families are also involved in it, the kids are also involved in it. So multiple formats is what we believe in. Fantastic, Noah. It's been a wonderful morning and uh, 
make sure next time the barbecue is out, you have me over. Definitely. <laughs> that being done now, there's one more thing to do. Get back in the car, hop around, and this time, hurry to behind the wheel. This was my first Rice Auto journalism. And they were just boys with toys. They didn't scream, they didn't yell. All they do is fire the engines and do all the talking. What else can I say about these middle-aged men prancing their horses in the terrain? The Indian car market has a super busy week with a slew of low